When people think about trying Linux for the first time, one question always comes up, which distribution should I start with? And even today in 2025, the most reliable and welcoming answer remains Ubuntu. Not because it's the flashiest or the most minimal or most advanced, but because Ubuntu has spent years building something thoughtful, balanced and approachable. Let's take a moment to explore why it's still such a great choice for new Linux users and what's new in Ubuntu's latest release 25.04. One of the nicest things about Ubuntu is how simple it is to install. With Ubuntu 25.04, the installer has been refreshed with calamaries, making the process clearer and more welcoming than ever. You'll start by picking your language, keyboard layout, it detects your Wi-Fi, connects you right away if you like. From there you can choose a normal or minimal installation and even install third-party drivers like NVIDIA's with a single click, no extra searching is required. Disk setup is easy too. You can either install Ubuntu alongside with your current system or erase the disk for a fresh start. Finally you set your username, password, the installer takes care of everything else. It's a calm, smooth experience. Design to feel as effortless as possible for new users. The very first thing you notice about Ubuntu is how calm and organized the desktop feels. It uses GNOME 48 or desktop environment designed to reduce clutter and distraction. On the top left you'll find a dock with your favorite applications or simple activities button at the top and a clear accessible system menu in the top right corner. It's intuitive even for someone who has spent years on Windows or Mac OS. You can open apps with a click, manage workspaces with a simple gesture and adjust settings without diving through endless menus. In Ubuntu 25.04, soft tool refinements to the interface make everyday interactions smoother. Animations feel cleaner, notifications are better organized and menus are easier to navigate. It's not trying to impress you with flash, it's designed to stay out of your way. A key part of any operating system is the software it offers and Ubuntu excels here. Thanks to its long history with wide adoption, it provides one of the largest and easiest to access collection of applications in the Linux world. Out of the box, you'll get essential tools for browsing, writing, image editing and media playback. And when you need more, Ubuntu Software Center offers thousands of applications, most of them are free and many are open source. There's also built-in support for snap packages and with simple extra step you can enable Flatpak too. One small but thoughtful update in Ubuntu 25.04 is the new Papers PDF Reader. It replaces the older events reader with a faster and more responsive app that makes handling PDFs whether for work, study or personal reading a pleasure. One of the things new Linux users often worry about is whether their hardware will work properly. And with Ubuntu in most cases it just does. Whether you are using a laptop or a desktop, Ubuntu handles Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, webcams, printers and most sound systems without any extra setup. And if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, the installer even gives you the option to install proprietary drivers during the setup, so you don't have to chase down drivers later. With the latest Linux kernel 6.14 in 25.04, support for modern processors, graphic cards and storage devices has only improved. Ubuntu remains one of the easiest distributions to install and get running on both new and older hardware. If you have never used Linux before, you'll have questions and the good news is Ubuntu has one of the biggest and most welcoming communities you'll find anywhere. Online there's Ask Ubuntu where thousands of helpful questions and answers are archived. There are official Ubuntu forums, Reddit communities, YouTube channels and countless blog posts and guides. Most of the common issue you might run into already have a clear, friendly solutions waiting for you. And because Ubuntu is so widely used, even software and game developers often offer direct support for it. Another thing Ubuntu does well is offer stability and predictability. You can choose between long-term support releases known as LTS versions which are updated and maintained for 5 years or interim releases like 25.04 
which offer newer features and technologies with 9 months of update. This means you have control over how cutting is or stable your system is and you'll never be forced into a confusing or risky update schedule. One of the gentle but meaningful additions in Ubuntu 25.04 is the digital well-being tool built into GNOME 48. It quietly tracks how long you spend on different applications helping you become more aware of your skin habits. You can even set limits on certain apps or schedule reminder to take breaks supporting healthier more balanced computer use. It's a small toss but it reflects Ubuntu's commitment to being not just a piece of technology but a good companion for your digital life. For years, Linux struggled with gaming but not anymore. Today, Ubuntu supports Steam, Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher, and thanks to tools like Proton, it can run thousands of Windows games effortlessly. In 25.04, you also get improved well and performance, better SDR display support for compatible monitor and games and seamless integration of Vulkan graphics technology. It's no longer just about indie or open source games. It's a serious, capable gaming platform. Not everyone likes the same desktop environment and Ubuntu respects that. That's why it offers official flavors, alternate versions with different desktop environments built on the same reliable Ubuntu core. Whether you prefer familiar window-like layout of Ubuntu's KDE Plasma, the lightweight feel of Zubuntu, or the classic simplicity of Ubuntu Mate, there's a version tailored for you. Ubuntu is designed to be safe and private. There's no spyware, no forced updates in the background, and no unnecessary software cluttering your system. Security updates arrive promptly and you have full control over what's installed and what runs on your machine. For even more peace of mind, there's Ubuntu Pro offering extended security coverage for thousands of extra packages, free for personal use on up to 5 machines. And maybe one of the Ubuntu's most thoughtful features, you can try it before you commit. Create a live USB put into Ubuntu and explore everything it offers without installing a thing. If you like it, you can install it with a click. If not, simply remove the USB and go back to your current system. No risk, no complicated steps. In the end, Ubuntu remains the best starting point for Linux newcomers because it's not trying to be everything to everyone. It's simply focused on being accessible, reliable, secure, and pleasant to use. With thoughtful new features like digital well-being, a beautiful clutter-free desktop, and the backing of a supportive community, it's a system that respects both your time and your choices. And that's all for today. So I hope you found this video useful. And if so, please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.